Transitioning to an electric vehicle brings with it new terminology and units of measure. Many of these terms we've encountered in the past, but perhaps not in relation to our vehicle. Let's begin with AC or alternating current. This is a form of electrical power marked by a varying current. It's called alternating because it reverses direction in Canada at 60 times per second. AC is the type of power that is delivered from the grid into our homes and ultimately to our wall outlets. When you charge e-tron, both level one and level two charging take AC power from the wall and bring it into the vehicle. The electric motors on e-tron also use AC power. Unlike the varying current of AC, direct current or DC flows in a constant direction. Batteries store energy and ultimately supply power to devices using DC. Etron's battery is DC and it uses sophisticated onboard power electronics to convert power between DC and AC so that it can be used by Etron's electric motors or E machines. Those same power electronics also take the AC power from a level one or level two charger and convert it to DC so it can be stored in the battery for later use. When you use a level three fast charger to charge e-tron, the charging equipment converts AC to DC outside of the vehicle at the point of the charging site. So the DC power flows directly into the vehicle and straight to the battery, bypassing the vehicle's own conversion equipment. This is a key reason why level three DC fast charging can be so much faster than level one or level two. Let's address an important unit of measure, the kilowatt. Specifically, a kilowatt is a thousand watts, a watt being an international unit of measuring power. With internal combustion engines, the comparable unit is horsepower. With e-tron, we speak of kilowatts. Now this comes into play in a couple of ways. First, it can be a measure of the power that electric motors are capable of putting out, such as the 300 kilowatts of available power in the e-tron 55 Quattro's boost mode, equivalent to 402 horsepower. It can also refer to the power used to charge the battery, with higher numbers equating to faster charging rates. As you move from level one to level two to level three charging, the kilowatt measure goes up significantly. For example, level one provides a maximum of 1.2 kilowatts of power, while Etron 55 Quattro supports up to 150 kilowatts with level three fast charging. Another important unit of measure is the kilowatt hour. A kilowatt hour measures energy. This can be the energy used while driving, expressed in kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers, or the energy stored in the battery. One kilowatt hour is the equivalent energy to running a 1000 watt load for one hour. For e-tron, this unit of measure indicates the energy capacity. With a traditional gasoline vehicle, you might speak of the capacity of the fuel tank in liters. A bigger fuel tank means more range. Bigger batteries can store more energy and therefore deliver a higher range. The e-tron 55 Quattro is equipped with a 95 kilowatt hour battery. 